You ready to go on an adventure? Oh, well, here is the Cooper Born version three e-boost so we're back in the uk after what was a pretty memorable road trip in the audi rs3 we went from london all the way to south of france if you haven't seen any of those videos i definitely encourage you to subscribe to the channel and go and check those back but today's video is about this so we're going to get under the skin of the cooper born v3 e-boost but just out of the box take a look how good does that look in this kind of radley red with the copper accents it looks mega but to give you the quickest summary possible the v3 comes with everything that the v1 and the v2 comes with but it also has these 20 inch hurricane wheels these extremely nice dynamic seats which look awesome and they are very very comfortable and some massage seats winning what are you doing are you coming we're going to take the v3 out for a spin plenty to say the other thing to note the v3 77 kilowatt hour battery is the top of the range but you've got to be careful because it's not the fastest it does have the most range because 77 kilowatt hour batteries will give you on paper 300 plus miles reality a little less than that the v3 will do 0 to 62 in 7 seconds but the 58 kilowatt version of the v3 e-boost will do it in 6.6 .6. so the smaller battery arguably it's lighter it means that it's going to give you more 0 to 60 punch but it won't give you as much range so remember that this one 43 3,000 pounds, the V3 58, around 41, I believe. Now, performance on the V3 is 230 brake horsepower and 229 foot-pounds of torque. It is nippy and it supports fast charging up to 135 kilowatt hours of charge. So we might test that out. Should we go for a drive? Let's go for a drive. Rear space on this is also pretty good. You've got a pretty high headline roof there. And uh, yeah, perfect for him, right? I need you to be a little bit more on it in front of the camera. The guys are here to see you. Interior cabin space is very nice. It does look great. There's some nice materials here. I like this also up here. It feels like uh, it feels like a trainer material, this. It's, it's really, really nice. And overall, the, I like what their Cooper have done. I'm still not a fan of this screen and the infotainment. For me, it's still clunky. Battery. I said earlier on that on paper, this does over 300 miles. However, I literally charged it to 100% last night. And as you can see, 100%, 281 miles. Um, so yeah, definitely not over 300, but I guess it works on the way you drive it. Right, let's get on the move. Let's head to cafe in the machine. Weather is good. That's what we like to see. Off we go. Welcome to Warwickshire, just kind of outside of the Cotswolds. Very, very beautiful scenery. And what a great chance to kind of just touch on how the car drives. I've driven this car before in, I guess, I think it was V2 for the 58 kilowatt hour, uh, both in Italy and also in uh, Finland as well, uh, Lapland. Now the car itself, I think it's deceiving in terms of its size, that's, that's a definite. Handling, I love this chicane, check this. The handling is good for what it is. Rollo, I hope you're hanging in there, mate. The handling is good for what it is because it is the EV. It does have a much lower center of gravity with all of the batteries being at the bottom. You do get an awful lot of decent punch. Now, one thing that I will say is normally when I drive EVs, I get awful range anxiety, awful range anxiety. I've had none of that because yes, it's not doing the 300 plus miles that it said it would, but I've got near enough to cap in the machine. My home is around 70, 80 miles away. I've still got 210 miles uh, left of range, which is great. And I'm gonna be able to get home on one charge. So these kind of cars for me now are getting much more accessible and better for daily use. Not to mention that the Cooper Born looks cool. zero to 62 in seven seconds and that was uphill as well now bearing in mind yes it's not the fastest thing in the world but do you need it to be much faster than that i don't know that kind of performance is more than enough to get you out of most sticky situations anyway and as you can see now this is the kind of cockpit view and as you heard there that is the intrusive lane assist can we just appreciate the scenery i love the scenery around here honestly cotswolds warwickshire one of the best places honestly i think I think one day I'd just like to move out here. The surface of the roads is good. And a lot of that also is down to the suspension of this car because this does have kind of adaptive dampening. So you kind of do get a very, very good ride on this car, which I do like. 
Now, there are a couple of things that I'm not really a fan of in here. There's a couple of cheap plastics, but more so on the steering wheel, you've got these kind of plus minus buttons where they're slides. It doesn't make sense to turn up the volume on my cruise control with a slide. I just want to press it. And the same thing down here with the windows. There's only two window buttons and you have to push this kind of rear button to lower the rear windows. Again, very trivial, but I don't know, I think they're overcomplicated a bit, just like they overcomplicate over the sat nav. But other than that, seating position is good. I sit relatively high in this. As I said, the size is quite deceiving. Cupra's assistive systems for me are very intrusive. The lane assist is super intrusive. So if I was you and I had one of these, I'd just turn it off completely. It just, it does nothing for me. Oh man, that punch is great. It does have some seriously good punch. Hang in there, little one. We're nearly there. Um, you can see here what I was referring to, these little button things. You have to slide them up. It's, it's not very good. And down here, you've got a rear button that you've got to press to the, wind, uh, the windows. Not perfect. It's been a while since I've been here. I really should do another meet soon. But yeah, it's been a while. Hey, you want to get out, right? You want to go for a walkies? Yeah, you want to go and see what's going on? as we've arrived here at Cafe in the Machine. Are you happy to be here? Are you happy to be here, mate? Yes, he is. I'm happy to be here. It's been an awful long time. Some nice cars, weather's out. Cafe in the Machine is like one of my favorite places ever. Oh, Formula One's on. I think we might even um, watch the qualifying here. Yes, I've said it many times, Cafe in the Machine is my happy place. But genuinely, if you have never been to Cafe in the Machine, it is awesome. It's just kind of the, automotive well what it is a cafe with machines but the way it's set up is just so nice isn't it what do you reckon he's not interested okay i've lost him oh yes hello you're drawn to the porsche aren't you 901.2 gt3 miami blue love that 718 gts love that too so we found a little place to perch up me and little man haven't we ordered a pizza as you do the only thing to do here at Cafe Machine. Very nice view. How are you finding it? What did you think of the Cooper Bourne? I think the um, the styling on the Cooper Bourne, as I said when I started the video, I think he looks great. It's such a good looking car. I love those kind of bronze copper accents that come with the red. It just contrasts really, really well. Interior wise, looks lovely. The rear of the car, I think that rear three quarter look is probably the best look, if I'm honest with you. I think it looked wicked. And I didn't think I would like the red as much as I do. That hero color, the blue hero color is the one that I'm normally used to seeing the Bournes in. So it was quite welcoming to see it in a new color, but yeah, I like it. Oh yes, get that pepperoni pizza in. This little potato's been waiting a while. Hi there, there you go. Oh, superstar, thank you so much. You're very welcome. Cool. Lovely, cheers. Enjoy. Oh, I could just see me spilling that. Right, let's tuck in. Is that nice? Sit. Another bit. I'll feed you before I feed me. There you go. Pepperoni. Enjoy. Never had a pizza because I always come here in the morning, so I always end up eating the breakfast roll, which again is decent, but lunchtime pizza for the win. Look how well behaved you are when there's food around. Honestly. Leave it. Yes. Good memories there. The Porsche Targa. Switzerland vibes. Sit. That's it. Good boy. Paul. Paul. There you go. You had a good day? How was that? Was it fun? Yes. Well, another opportunity to come down to Cafe in the Machine. And yeah, we've had a good one. How are you getting on, kiddo? Roller? You all right? Yeah, no, well, let's get you home. Let's get you home. So let's quickly touch on this. Because this for me, the screen, like I said, it's lovely, but I don't know. I just find it, uh, it's, 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 it's not the easiest thing in the world to use. It's nice, it looks good. Once you chuck Apple, Apple CarPlay in though, it's just perfect. So just use Apple CarPlay all the time. But right now let's head home. You can see the Dynamica seats looking awesome. Hi, how's your Dynamica seat? Is it good? Yeah, you liking it? What do you reckon? Oh yeah, the headrests are nice too on this. I do like it. Oh, and I've just realized, Julia Quadrifoglio. 
Yes. Okay. Well, that was a that was a nice little uh, day out here at Catherine Machine. I know you're panting back there, mate. I promise I'll lower the window in a moment. Some nice cars. Very nice cars, in fact. A couple of GT4s were up there, but the Audi Quattros were, for me, some of the nicest cars there. Dude, I'm trying to film here. All you can hear is the dog and not me. So we're gonna jump on the, on the motorway M40, head home, and uh, yeah, we're gonna spend the rest of the evening, me and Rolo, chilling, because my wife is actually on holiday. She's in, um, she's in Spain. So, uh, boys night in or out? Boys night in, more like. Feel that 230 horsepower pull. Yeah, very nice car. But look, in summary, what do I think about the car? I really like it. I really do like it. I think it looks great. I think it's very modern. It's got some nice Cupra bronze accents. It doesn't feel like it's uh, out of place in terms of its materials. There are a couple of cheapo plastics, but overall, design, style, performance, and most importantly for me, range is what gets the biggest tick for me. And I could genuinely see myself using this every day without having any range anxiety and actually it looks like we've lucked out because i think it's starting to rain so uh happy days but anyway guys hope you enjoyed this video of the cooper born version 3 77 kilowatt hour battery if you did smash the like button comments are always welcome and i will see you all on the next vlog let me just spin it around here last acceleration hang in there rollo punch it <laughs> there we go take care guys bye bye